Thank you so much for attending. My name is Ms. Chavez. I am an alumni graduate of 92. I am a fashion design teacher. That was my major. Um, I did go on to FIT. I did design for international companies. I went abroad for most of my jobs. Um, at FIT, I studied abroad and I loved it so much that I brought it back to HSFI. So we have a study abroad program uh, that offers six to nine college credits transferable to a long laundry list of colleges. Um, also along with it, I'm the admissions associate. So I guess our principal, Mr. Blank, thought very suiting to have someone that has been, a, as a student, now a teacher, be part of the admissions team. So um, just FYI, uh, our school is very high in rigor. We have high standards, yet we understand that not every child has these impeccable skills. We're not looking for the Michelangelo's because there was only one. We're not looking for um, uh, Donna Karen or Ralph Lauren or Chanel or uh, Jean um, Raymond. Uh, he's uh, from, uh, he's a graduate of ours. He's, um, he's a Haitian American designer, phenomenal. Um, but all of those people, there's only one. So we're not looking to replicate. We're looking for a child that is driven, a child that is passionate, a child that wants to be in our school because that mixture of child is the one that's going to be successful. And of course, with adults that are backing that child that are there for that child will be even more successful because they have more people on their side. So that's the kind of kid that we're looking for. Um, so fashion started in 1926. So in a couple of years, we're going to be a centennial school. Yes, we've been around since 1926. Um, we are located in Chelsea in Manhattan on 24th Street between 7th and 8th, and we've been there for um, forever. And um, FIT, for those of you who don't know, Fashion Institute of Technology started in our school and then was relocated to 28th Street So uh, in the 40s. So fashion of course has evolved um the school's main purpose was to teach many influx of of immigrants uh tailoring uh all of these uh needle trades in order to uh fill the fashion district with workers now of course times have changed so it's not all about fashion so we we do have a hashtag hashtag not not just fashion because our students are prepared to go on to college and um, have these transferable skills that can prepare them for college. So we have students that move on to criminal justice. We have students that move on to law. We have students that move on to medicine. So don't be uh, deceived by our name. So along with fashion, there's art, there's business. So um, as you can see, the trains that you see on our presentation, those are the trains that lead you there. Um, and if you have any questions about transportation or how to get to our school, we used to have in-person tours. We're hoping to open that back up in the fall. So if you're a seventh grader now and you're gonna be an eighth grader in the fall, you may wanna visit our school. We are 10 floors, one school. We've been that way since the very beginning. So it may seem like it's huge, but as a former student, it was kind of like my second home. So it's kind of like I knew where everything was. After, in the beginning, yes, it's gonna be pretty daunting, but after a while, you like you get used to it. It's like you being in your house, you know where everything is. So um, our student population is about 1,600 students. Uh, our freshman class is usually the largest. So we're looking to fill 500 seats, not for this fall because that's already been chosen but for the 2022 fall. All right, so let's move on. Uh, let's see, how does this, oh, here we are. <laughs> mm. All right, so the mission at the High School of Fashion Industries is to provide challenging, creative, and effective career technical and academic training for New York City students. Our school specializes in three majors, fashion design, art, photography, and graphic design, and business marketing, management, and visual merchandising. Within art, we're starting to uh, open it up to only photography. So for those of you who are artistic, creative, but are looking to be more um, within the photography field, this could be a route for you. So as you can see, there's a 360 uh, look at uh, where we are. That's us on 24th Street. Our school has six uh, uh, windows, very large department scale windows. 
uh, because that's part of visual merchandising. So if you're looking to go onto the a business track after the first two years of foundation of courses, your junior and senior year, you could go into visual merchandising, which has to do with the windows or much more business related courses. Next slide. All right, so for those uh, out there that wanna do fashion design, um, this is your thing. We are one of the only schools that go in depth when it comes to fashion design. So it's not really just sketching, which many more other schools offer. We go into the pattern making, into the construction, into actually branding yourself and uh, putting yourself out there. These are, uh, are our advanced students that in their junior, sorry, senior year, feel like, you know what? I want to go on to FIT. I want to go on to SCAD. I want to go on to Parsons. I want to go out on to one of these very flat fashion focused universities. So these are those students that go there. Now, of course, this year there was COVID and the year uh, ago. So how else could we have our students uh, move on, showcase their work? We have the fashion mag. So I wanted to show that to you. So when you when I click on this, I'm gonna go over to the other tab, fashion mag right here. So this is our fashion mag. This is how we resolved the uh, issue of how are we going to showcase our students' work. So I'm just going to flip through a couple of pages. And this is these are our students. These are not professional models. These are our students. They are they went out and they showcased their work through um, uh, photo shoots, all self-made. So when you talk about students with drive and students with passion, these are them. So, and of course the layout, all them, these are all of our graduates of this year. That's our um, instructors, our designers, and it moves on. And it's uh, like a, it's laid out just like a magazine. So of course you have a fun little uh, activity here. And then of course you move on to the, to the students. So this is one of our students, Lawrence Ozon and Miss Chelsea Mills, amazing. This is her, herself, with her garment. She took pictures, did her layout. So these are the those students that they know fashion is their future. So you may have that child or you are probably sitting in looking at this and saying, oh my God, I found my school. So this is just to let you know, we very much concentrate focus on fashion for four years. So on to the next slide. So now there's art. For those students out there that want to do art, you, you have been creative forever. You want to actually start developing your skills in a more professional way, and you want to move on to a college that has to do with art, then this could be your school as well. We do know that there are so many other high schools out there that offer art in a much more, uh, I want to say, intense, um, kind of like uh, LaGuardia, which is top notch. But of course, there's um, an exam to get into that school. But as I was stating before, if you are that student that loves art, yet you feel um, like you're not, you don't cut the mustard as, as they used to say <laughs> back in the day, um, don't worry. We're here to teach you. I don't want anyone out there to feel like, well, I'm not at that level. Well, these are her, our seniors. So they start in, in one level and then they move clearly up. So these are their artworks. We do have a showcase at the end of their four years where they actually show all of, of all of their work. We have industry professionals that come in. They're invited to see what um, our students do. And of course, there's uh, um, internship opportunities. There's a scholarship opportunities. So that's always um, uh, running. It's kind of like a revolving door where we always show the uh, what's out there for our students. So next slide, and this would be the business marketing uh, class. So let's click on this one little testimonial of one of our students. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. My, my name, name is Janelle Luna, Luna, and I'm a senior, senior at the High School of Fashion, fashion Industries, where I major in fashion marketing, marketing management. Marketing and management. Although, Although I may sound so straight, a supply has really become my second home. home. In many ways, a supply has helped me become the person I am today. I came in as a shy freshman who preferred to sit in the back of the class, and I'm a senior who holds multiple leadership positions in clubs and is looking forward to applying to college as a first-generation student. If it weren't for Mr. Blank and the faculty's efforts to embrace everyone's opinions, I would have never found my voice, independence, and sense of identity. 
For anyone, For anyone who's interested, interested in becoming a business major, my biggest piece of advice would be not to be afraid to be in touch with, with your creativity. I know many may assume business is a rigid major where everything's about numbers and spreadsheets, but it is far more than that. You will learn to be an innovator with every assignment given to you. Don't be afraid to let your creativity shine through the smallest of tasks. It will help you stand out among high school students and prepare you for the careers even outside of business. As only a high school senior, I can work with Microsoft Suite, Canva, iMovie, and many other platforms. I even acquired web design skills. These are just some of the many benefits of being a business major at HSFI. You are truly set on a path to success outside the classroom. I've grown to love HSFI, and I'm sure you will too if you decide to attend. Thank you. All right, so that's Ms. Jeanette Luna. So these are our students. They do learn everything that has to do with business. It is a very great major. If anything, the coordinator of this major loves to say how the skills that they learn in this major are much more transferable than the ones in fashion and art. And if you think about it, she could have, um, she could be right because here they learn how to brand themselves. They learn how to be the, the CEO of their own brand, how to approach a customer, how to uh, learn everything that they do um, internally, wherever or whatever field that they decide to go into. We actually have a fly store. It's a, it's a, a, a school store in the lobby where there's where the students actually work in the school store. They determine the layout. They work out their customer skills. They actually decide um, how to uh, decorate the store, what inventory should go in. So everything that they're learning in the classroom, they're actually applying inside the store. And also wanted to um, showcase how the students have been learning digitally. Uh, this is a window because, of course, the windows outside couldn't be worked in worked on personally or physically. They had to do it digitally. So we had our candy Candyland showcase, which I'd like to show you. Hold on a moment. Let me just get to that uh, right here. So what we had is that we invited all of our industry professionals to an unveiling. So this was uh, just all of the groups that got together and made their own window. So this link right here, I'll go ahead and I'll put it in the chat box so you can view it. Um, of course, I'm sorry, wrong window. Just bear with me. Okay. So that was the visual merchandising. Oh, there, there's an echo. Is there an echo now? Please uh, do, do not be afraid to unmute yourself and let me know. All right. No. Okay. There and was an echo during the um, presentation of the young lady. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for letting me know. Um, and uh, if we have another video, I'll go ahead and I'll mute myself. All right. So um, this, again, is everything that the business students do. I also want to show you uh, the business plans because, of course, students work together in a team to create a business plan. I'm not from the corporate setting, so I would not know um, what it entails, but to see how these students just come up with these business plans and actually present them, they actually do get to uh, compete regionally um, within uh, the states and show their business plans kind of like Shark Tank, and it is phenomenal. Like the kids just blow you away. So I wanna show you some of their uh, business plans. All right. For example, this one right here, again, these are all of our students. This is their handiwork. Uh, so to see them come together and put all of this together and actually verbalize what the business plan is about, it blows you away. It's kind of like you close your eyes and you're like, oh my goodness, these are teenagers? This is, this is amazing. So um, again, I can also put this in our uh, chat box so you can look through it. And of course, all of this is on our website. So I'm gonna show you where you can find it on our website as well. So they learn all of the components of what it is to have a company, of what, how, how it is to, to pitch to um, investors. They, they learn all, everything, 100, 180 degrees or 360 degrees. So this is one. Another that I'd like to show you would be um, this one here, which is simply wellness. So again, they get together and they learn how to uh, just meet their um, their ideas, how to put them together. And of course, they uh, sort of separate into CEO, VP, um, HR. So they learn how that works. In our classrooms, when it comes to business, the classroom is actually divided that way. 
you go in and you see the IT departments over here, the CEO sits over there, the HR sits over there. It's, it's amazing. I really do love, I think if I would have known about this major back when I was a student, I would have gone for it, but I was just way too creative when it came to fashion and I loved fashion. So this is another example. And again, um, another example would be uh, a, a magazine that they uh, put together. It's called Zine Off. And um, again, our students, they're the ones putting this together. So I just wanna keep that in mind. Our students are the ones that do the heavy lifting. They're the ones that get the work done. We're just there to assist. We're on the sidelines guiding them, but they're the ones putting all of this material together, which is, it's very phenomenal to see kids get together and, and produce things such as these. All right, so let's go back to our presentation. All right. Okay, so next slide. So of course, probably parents are like, well, I love the fact that you guys have a lot of creative stuff going on, but what if my child does not pursue that going to college? Which um, first, uh, let, let's have faith in them. <laughs> let's have faith that there is something after high school and we do realize and we do know that all of our majors, there are colleges that focus on what it is that they're learning in our school. We make sure of that. There is no purpose in teaching them something for four years that they cannot pursue in a college setting. So all of our majors do have a continuation when going to college. Yet also we have advanced placement courses. So for those of you who don't know what an AP class is, those are classes that you take within your high school years that you count as a college credit. So this is the list of the nine that we have. The one at the bottom, sorry, it's supposed to be photography, not psychology. <laughs> I actually placed this wrong. But ICP, Ben Russell and ICP Teen Academy should have been right over here where it says photography. My bad. I was I was prepping the presentation up before I came in, before I started the presentation because I figured we're missing a little bit of detail there. And I wanted to I'm just hone in a little bit on photography. It's an AP course. You can receive college credit for it. And because we have a dark room in our school on the third floor, it's a professional dark room. Now, many kids out there were like, what's a dark room? Well, guys, if you didn't know, a camera had to be filled with a roll. And it wasn't all just like click, click, click with the with the phone. It, it was an actual photographer's camera. And that role after um, you were done with it, you had to go into a room or you would go into a room where there's like this liquid where you would, would have to develop these pictures in a dark room with a red light because if natural light comes to it, it would destroy the pictures you would take. So we actually have that in our facility. And I think there's only four other schools within the New York City um, boroughs that has this kind of setting. And along with it, we have the International Center of Photography as a collaborator. We have a partnership with them where our students get to go to that, uh, to, to that institution for free. So they're learning with professionals and they're really developing their skills. And this is again, an advanced placement class that they're offered in their senior year. So for those of you who want to do photography, this may be your route. And also it's um, taught by Mr. Ben Russell. He's worked with the New York Times. He's uh, uh, just a, a, an, an amazing professional in his field. So you maybe want to look at hashtag ICP Teen Academy in Instagram, and you can see all of the work our students do. It is a really great, uh, very intense program for those who are looking to do photography. So moving on. All right, so clubs, because of course the kids just like, okay, I wanna have fun. How do I socialize? How do I get to know um, other students? This is a very long list of clubs that we have. Uh, we have performance groups uh, such as Sing, where kids who love performance art, they um, actually have the run of our stage. So again, as I, rem as I uh, mentioned, our school is really old. So of course, with old structures, the old way of doing things is still there. So our, our rooms are still 10 feet high. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of natural light. Um, our hallways are, are big. Our gyms are big. Um, our auditorium can fit over 700 people or more, I think. Um, and the stage is large. So th whoever participates in sing, they get to uh, put on their own production. They do the choreography, they do the script, they do, so that happens as well. So students out there that love performance art, this could be for you. 
Also, we have social activism stu um, uh, groups. So sort of the, um, the feminist club, the animal welfare club, the green team, the social emotional learning club, and also those who are just uh, doing other extracurricular things such as skateboarding. We have anime, we have the yoga club. We even have a magazine, uh, the school newspaper. So for those of you who like journaling or writing, that could be for you as well. And then of course there's a photography club, accessories club, styling. So there's there's something there for you. And if for some reason you're like, well, none of that seems like what I wanna do. If you definitely wanna start your own club, you definitely can. You just would need a teacher to serve as an advisor and other students to serve um, uh, with you. Cause a club has to have a group of people. So I think the minimum is about 10. So you find 10 friends and the, all of you share that, that interest, you can definitely start your own club. All right, so for sports, because of course there's a lot of athletes out there, we definitely have um, a nice little laundry list of, of sports as well. We are a Title I school. For many of these sports, you can receive a full scholarship, full ride if you maintain an attendance and good participation throughout your four years. The This is the actual gym. This is our gym. So again, as I stated, because our school building is is old, the the spaces are as the the way our schools used to be. Unfortunately, they've been chopped down to smaller schools, and you have to share space with other schools, but not us. So our gym, our third floor gym, is huge, and it can occupy. It can um, have like two of uh, two gym classes together, like fifty students at at one same time. So uh, soccer, softball, wrestling, bowling, volleyball, uh, track. So that definitely we, we do have. So, and then now this would be the last part, which would be our advisory board. So of course, because we are a CTE school, which is career technical education, it's different from an academic school. An academic school just uh, focuses on your math, your English, your history. So it's your regular school, you know, in your neighborhood. But CTE schools are separate because, because they focus on a major. They focus on something that you can move on towards uh, a career. So, uh, of course, we have our advisory board, which is made up of our industry professionals that come in and they advise us on our curriculum. They let us know if it's up to date. They um, uh, share scholarship opportunities, internships, funds for many of the things that we have in our building, such as um, uh, whiteboards and computers and iPads. So definitely this is an essential part of our um, of, of our company, of what of what we do. And also the pictures that you see there, I wanted to give you a little info. The one in the corner, which has to do with the wedding dresses, I'm pretty sure everyone here has seen Say Yes to the Dress and Kleinfeld. Well, there's a partnership with us where they have our students team up and design wedding dresses. And the winner, the dress gets to be sold in Kleinfeld. So if that's not a transition into adulthood and like, oh my God, I have one of my designs in an actual uh, floor where potential customers can see and I can start, you know, sort of like building my own brand, that definitely is an opportunity. So that's one. The other young lady that you see there with the with the feathers, that's Swarovski. So sw what Swarovski does is come, they come in and they view our uh, senior designs and they decide who to donate jewel jewelry or jewels, gems to, so they can actually add it on to their garments. So imagine embellishing your final senior project with all of these beautiful Swarovski gems. And don't know how many fashionistas are out there, but the gentleman down at the bottom in the red puffer coat, that's Mr. Andre Leon Talley. He's the right-hand man of Miss Anna Wintour at Vogue. He just came out with a memoir. I think it's uh, in the chiffon trenches. So he is, uh, he's a, a, a continued guest that comes. He actually had principal of the day one afternoon and he spoke to our seniors. So as you can see, we, it's, it's a community. We can't do our job unless we have professionals letting us know that we're doing we're doing good by our students. And of course, the students are the other part of the equation where, you know, with you guys, driven, passionate, it's it's complete sex, success story. So this is a small video, and I'll once I press play, I'll, I'll mute myself. And it's a bit of a compilation of all the students and what it is that they do at our school. So give me one second. Come with me And you'll be In a world of your imagination 
So as you can see, our students are pretty well-rounded. They usually have a very packed schedule. So it's not just um, their regular academics. They stay uh, sometimes till six, seven, just fill. They, have, they, they learn to understand what it is to become uh, a young adult, um, focused, driven. So I'm very proud of my school um, in that sense. It, it's, it does mirror my experience when I was a student there. Um, so just to go move on to the virtual portfolio prep we do have a virtual portfolio prep um session that's uh student uh paced so if you want to um receive tips on how to prepare your fashion portfolio or your art portfolio or your business portfolio we do have a link on our on our website i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to copy that and i'll put it in the chat box so that's um self paste so you can visit our, i'm going to go into our website so you can see where to find that and also if we have any incoming students in our audience and you want to know about orientation dates definitely that you have a page in our website as well so i'm going to go ahead and copy that as well okay oh in the wrong there we go so this is for those who are all right so i want to um just go ahead and show you our website so this is um, our website. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and put that in the website as well. I'm sorry, the chat box. Okay. And on our website, there is prospective student. So this entire drop down uh, uh, link is all for you. So here you can um, check out an overview. I actually like going to the overview. The reason why is because there is a PDF that shows you what the tracks are per major. So when you click on it, you'll see what the track is for fashion design. So these are all of the classes you would be learning, taking from your ninth year to your 10th year to your 11th year and then on 12th. And I want you to take a look at see where it says fashion regions. Yes, there's a regions exam for all of your majors. What would be the point of investing three, four years in something and not be certified, state certified in it? So yes, we do offer a regions or it is actually within the curriculum for all uh, three majors. So this is for art. As you can see, this is what you would learn for your ninth year, 10th year, 11th. And then this is for fashion, marketing and merchandising. And then Fashion, marketing, and merchandising start off as the same found, found, uh, foundation courses, and then they split into fashion merchandising and then visual merchandising. So I'll go ahead and I'll put that 
in our chat box as well. All right, but again, it is on our website. So uh, that's where you could find it in the overview. So again, there's our uh, open house sessions, which have ended today. So I have to remove that from the website. I help to, um, tailor the website as well. Our audition requirements, our auditions rubric. Our auditions rubric has changed. What it used to be, we used to actually uh, factor in grades and factor in attendance, but because of COVID, they are no longer factors. So right now, in order to be scored, what we look at is a video, a portfolio, and an exam, which is more of an interview than it is an exam. So when you add that up, that comes out to 100 points. So also there is tours. I would like to just show this to you for a sec. This is really great where you can actually view the inside of our building virtually. But again, like I um, stated before, we do have tours, in-person tours, but depending on what the DOE and um, the state says with social distancing, we would have to uh, see how we're gonna go about that in the fall. So this is our principal's conference room. When you look at the tours, you can actually move them around and see how, uh, what it looks like. Then this is a typical classroom. So again, like I mentioned before, because of our uh, structure, we have high ceilings, big windows, so no cramped spaces. I really don't think uh, learning is conducive in small paces, spaces like you really need some space. Um, also our cafeteria, and this is only 25% of our cafeteria. Our cafeteria is on the fourth floor and 75% of that floor is the cafeteria. Okay, then we have our student lounge because, of course, the students need their own little space. When they have a free period, they can come and um, meet with their friends. And this is, was the dark room. This is what I was talking about. This right here is where they, uh, the students go in and they uh, go ahead and develop their pictures. So photography is a very intense, very interesting uh, field. And this is our auditorium. So our auditorium, as you can see, it's large. We do not share space with the school. Love that about our school. These are our murals. They were um, uh, created in the 1920s, 1930s. They're considered landmarks. And they depict um, uh, very important events within our um, country's uh, formation of unions and uh, child labor laws and um, sort of uh, what education is when it comes to careers. And then this is our third floor gym. So yes, ladies, gentlemen, this is how big our gym is. And just to give you a little perspective on how old there used to be, there used to be boys showers and girls showers. Of course, that is, that's now it's storage spaces. They're no longer showers, but yes, that's how big our auditorium is. This is our library. And I think that's the space, but if you're interested in a tour, please uh, make sure that you always go back to our, uh, hold on right here. Go back to your um, to this whole long list of prospective students. Um, this is where we um, have a lot of our information. So seventh graders, there will be an early audition that's going to be made live in our website soon. So make sure to, to to always check back. All right. So let's see if there's any more info. Yeah. I guess that's it. If we have any questions, I'm going to ask you to please unmute yourself and you can go ahead and ask. Si tienen preguntas uh, en este momento, ahora es el momento de, de, how would you say unmute? Oh my goodness, I haven't practiced my Spanish in a while. <laughs> Se pueden poner el micrófono y pueden preguntar su, su pregunta. No tengan pena. <laughs> you can go ahead and, and ask. Pueden pre preguntar cualquier pregunta. And also for um, the other families that are still here, you can go ahead and ask your question if there's anything that I have not asked, I mean, answered for you. 